It's in there backwards. Alright, after quite a long hiatus, I'm back on the CBX, at least for this temporary episode. So, I have the cylinder head back here and I need to disassemble this thing so I can have the uh, the cylinder head like vapor hone cleaned up and then we can check for valve recession, replace probably, probably all the valves considering the condition of this thing. But, we have a few things we need to address, so let's kind of check out what the game plan is. So if you guys remember in the engine disassembly video, we had a couple issues. So if we see here, this is cylinder number four. We had that screw that was sitting in the piston, so it's kind of nicked the uh, the cylinder at the combustion chamber here. So that's not too terrible of a fix. I can you know definitely fix that. Just a lot of carbon buildup on here. The uh, uh, tensioner here, this was stripped out, so. That currently has a helicoil in it, and I need to replace that with something more resilient. So I have a couple things for that. There was also the number two cylinder. The spark plug hole was actually uh, slightly stripped, but from the looks of it, the lower threads are still good. So they just started it and never got it seated fully. So I have two options to on how to fix that. And then up top, I need to kind of take care of the little nick that we have here, kind of clean that thing up, make sure nothing's going to be uh, dragging on these spring buckets. And then right here, I never showed this before, but there's actually a broken off stud for that cam cap. So that sucks, but we're going to make it all right. It's going to be a nice new, you know, nice fresh cylinder head when done. But we got to, you know, get this thing fully disassembled and kind of get a full assessment on what all it's going to need. All right, now to get started, I had to uh, go ahead and make a new end for my DIY valve spring compressor. Um, I just modify the ends and stuff and just, you know, I make my own tools. So anyway, modified the end for that to fit these smaller valve buckets on here and valve uh, spring retainers. But a thing of note, this is a comment I've got a lot about the black on the engine and the fact that the bike is a 79. I've mentioned many times, this thing is just really, really poorly painted. The whole engine is. The serial numbers match. You know, obviously it's not numbers matching. That's never how they work. But it is the right engine for the bike. So just, uh, just a, a note there for you guys. All right, so the fun continues. I just got all the valves and springs out of this thing. A couple of them, I think two of them were actually kind of difficult, had a lot of resistance removing them, so I need to check those valves to see if they're bent. Um, could be a real possibility, and I feel like that was focused on cylinder four, actually. So we will see. And then on cylinder four, um, it looks like the exhaust guide on the, uh, the rightmost valve the guide is in backwards, so it's like 
it, it's clocked in such a way that it doesn't quite butt up with the aluminum. It, it just doesn't fit that well, which is, uh, that's pretty crappy. So, I mean, obviously this thing's going to need a complete valve job and stuff like that, but I'll see if I can clean the valves up a little bit and gauge whether or not I want to just go ahead and just to be safe, replace them all. That's probably the route I'm going to go, even though it's super expensive. But again, the spike is going to be done right. You know, there's it's not there's like no no uh, no expense spared kind of thing. It just it has to be right. So if that's what it needs, that's what it'll get. Still unfortunate though, but it's in good hands now. do a better repair than that. Alright, time to at least try to remove this broken off bolt. Hardened steel, it's recessed, it's not going to be easy. We'll plan on it not being easy, but we'll hope for the best. So, I don't know, I wish I could weld to it and just back it out that way, but we're going to have to try to just drill it and easy out it. How easy that out will be, we don't know. But again, plan for the worst, hope for the best. this one real quick. It's a little tap. I'm sure this one can grab this. Perfect execution. By the way, that was a Harbor Freight drill bit. Went right through this thing. So that was awesome.
perfect. That is what success looks like. All the way through the bolt. No damage to the threads at all. We are looking good. Okay, well at this point I'm probably going to end the video off and the next time we see this we'll probably be doing some vapor honing on the actual surfaces here. So I'm going to take this to, uh, to a shop and then we will kind of see how many valves I should replace, how many, how many valve guides, that kind of thing, and uh, start getting parts coming. Other than that though, I do have most everything I need for the engine rebuild. I have new pistons, rings, all the gaskets, all the seals, all the bearings. I have all of it already, all the, you know, the cam chain guides already rebuilt, new, new chains, I got it all. So basically it's just down to a matter of time, you know, as I've said in previous videos, it's just a lot going on, so we're going to get this done, uh, just kind of when I can get it done. So anyway, I, I apologize for the delay between episodes, I know it was a long wait, but I'm going to try to keep them as consistent as I can. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.